Hello everyone and welcome to your power plate midsection mania workout. So for today's workout, a mat, your power plate, maybe water and a towel if you want it. So grab those things and we're gonna get started here in just about one minute. So if you have a personal plate, keep that fob in your hands. You can keep hitting that repeat button if you've got one of the larger plates, a move or larger. Remember those will vibrate for up to nine minutes. So you just wanna keep that vibration going. Uh, low setting, so on that personal plate, just keep it on low. If you've got one of the larger plates, 30 to 35 hertz or a move plate, just level one or two. And if you're on the floor, no worries, you're just gonna keep moving and we'll modify and keep things going. So hello, waving to all of you that are waving back at me, welcome. Like I said, midsection mania. So if you're looking to have a strong, functional core, um, looking to tone up that midsection, everything from the shoulders to the hips. That's what we're gonna do. This workout is for you. So it's just a little shy of 30 minutes today to get your mat towel, um, what I say, water off to the side. And we have three big sections of work today. So we'll take uh, short breaks in between each of those, but the magic number is three. Three exercises, three times through 30 seconds each in each of those sections. So. Are you guys ready? We'll get warmed up. All right, let's get this timer going, the music going, and let's start with a hip flexor stretch. So in a nice long lunge position, we're gonna stretch through the hips. Now, you're thinking, why are we stretching the hips? This is a cool workout. Your hips are a major part of your core. It's everything from the shoulder through the hip that's in charge of our core. So we need those hips to be loose, to be ready to go and ready to work. So let's get some blood circulating, warm it up and get ready. Three, two, and switch sides. Again, nice long lunge position. If you're on the floor, you're doing the same thing with me right here on the plate. A little bit of dynamic movements. We're gonna encourage more blood flow to come into those tissues that way. That dynamic movement, I always like to remind you, is like a magnet for the vibration and it's really gonna attract that blood flow. Three, two, one, figure four. So if you're on the plate, come on up. If you're on the floor, same thing. You're gonna stand up ankle to knee and then I just want us to sit into that stretch. So again, this time we're not only opening up your hip, but we're gonna feel that through the glutes as well. So with those glutes to be nice and warm, we can even move a little side to side or a little bit of rotation and find the places where you feel tight and you kind of sit there. All right, switch legs, same stretch. Sitting right down into that hip, that glute. Thank you guys, I see so many of you joining. I hope you're ready for a phenomenal core workout today. In about three more seconds, two and one. Come down to a plank, hands on the floor. I'm gonna be in plank position, and then I want you to drop the hips, open up, and then lift the chest. So stretching through that midsection, and then go ahead and lift those hips back up, come to plank. Now again, drop the hips, opening up, right through the core. Let's do that one more time, lift the hips back to plank, and release. Squeeze your glutes while you're here, stretching through that core again. And let's take a moment, shake it off, get a drink, maybe towel down. First big working block, remember magic number is three. Three exercises, three times through for 30 seconds each. Deal? All right, we're starting with the basics. So we've got about three seconds, get down into a plank. Now you can be on hands and toes, or hands and knees. Up to you, up to where you're feeling today. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears and keep the core braced. About laughing super, super hard. When we laugh really hard, we actually brace through the stomach really well. So I want you to imagine belly laughs. Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Flip on over. We're going to come into a Russian twist. So we're going to be on our butts. You can either have the toes on the floor or the lifted ankles side by side. Once you're ready, let's rotate side to side. 
side. Rotating through the shoulders. Not just moving the arms. So when we're just here and there's no rotation, we're not actually utilizing the obliques. So I want you to try and turn your shoulders to the sides of the room. We have 10 more seconds. over if you've got a power plate feet are on top of the plate your head and neck is resting on the floor so come on down keeping your butt close to the plate for those of you who have a plate let's go ahead squeeze up and hold now press your heels down to the plate as hard as you can and really focus on trying to make a dent in the plate or a dent in the floor we're halfway so you're squeezing, squeezing, squeezing through the back side, activating that back side by pressing down. We have five seconds, four, three, two, and one. All right, three exercises, three times through. You know that's three, guess what? We're going back to that plank. So we've got about a 15 second transition to get back into that plank position. Elbows soft, come right into that long line. Shoulders away from the ears. I want you to create as much space as you can between that ear and that shoulder. Nice long neck, long posture. Stand nice and tight everywhere. Bracing, bracing, bracing. 10 seconds left. Don't forget to breathe. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, flip back over, we're going back down for that Russian twist. So each round, think about how you can challenge yourself a little bit. Maybe it's taking the toes and lifting up a little higher. Maybe it's actually trying a little bit here. Let's go ahead and start twisting. It could be rotating a little further. Maybe just put one foot on the floor. Find that kind of next level. That's how we make those little changes. We're halfway with small shifts, small challenges. Really rotating and wringing out your midsection like a wet washcloth. Three, two, and one. Okay, back down for that glute bridge. Now remember, I want you to press your heels down into the floor. We've got about five more seconds. And then lift your toes up this time. Off we go. Press, 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 loose bridge, 30 seconds. It's not about how high the hips go, it's how hard you can press those heels down into the floor or down into the plane. So try to press equally, we're halfway. So both with your left and right foot, really making that dent to the floor. Five seconds. One more time through. Coming back into that plank. Take that quick sip of water if you need it. And let's get back down. Five seconds. Shoulders away from ears. Right into that plank position. Taking that eye gaze out over the fingers. Breathing. Halfway. Hopefully you're still thinking about belly laughing here as we hold this position. Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Okay, Russian twist. Each of these, this is that third time through. So executing to the best of your ability this last time because we don't have to do this exercise again. Come on down. Again, toes on the floor or perhaps lift it and let's rotate. Three seconds. Try to keep those ankles and those knees side by side as you twist right to the torso. Ten seconds left. 
30 second breather, grab a drink, maybe towel down if you're sweating. I know I start sweating so quickly on top of the plate. Before we go into our second block of midsection work. Again, three exercises, three times through, 30 seconds each. So we have 10 seconds left. This time, we are just gonna elevate the moves that we've already done. So you'll be familiar with the moves. So come on down to that plank again. This time, bring your knee to the opposite elbow. Now, if you were on the knees last round, perhaps this round, you try holding the plank on your toes. It's just about taking it to the next level on this round. 10 seconds left. Move slow in control. Bring that knee right in towards the elbow. Three seconds left. Two and one. Okay, flip on over. Remember, if you're on the floor, you're doing these same exercises. We're going to crunch up and hold the knee, then reset. So I'm showing you. You have three seconds to get down here and join me. Crunch up, hold the knee. Come all the way back down to the middle. Your option. Bend the knees and toes as you do this. That's your option to keep the knees bent as you come down and up. Otherwise, that extension of the leg is going to make it a little bit more challenging for you because you've got a longer lever out there, more weight out there for your core to support. Three seconds left. Two and one. Okay. Back down to that glute bridge. This time, if these are your feet, they're going to walk forward and back. Forward and back while you hold that glute bridge. Cool? Come on down. Get your feet up there on that plate. Now walk them forward and back. Just a couple of inches forward and back. It doesn't have to be much. Keeping your hips nice and stable. So again, we're going for a full 30 seconds. Each of these exercises, we have 10 seconds left here. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so those are our three. We've got two more rounds. Let's come back into that plank, bring that knee right in toward that opposite elbow. So we're really incorporating the entire core section. Cool, three, two, and one. Think about freezing there for a moment. Remember, at any time in the workout, you can always either drink the water, take a break, take a stretch, and then jump back in. The key, is to continually, each week, each workout, just get a little bit stronger. If you're doing one more repetition, maybe executing just a little bit better with your technique. Three, two, and one. All right, flip on over. We're going back to that crunch and hold the knee. Now I know this is an awkward feeling, that holding of the knee. So if you would like to just get rid of the knee, hold and do the crunch, that's cool too. You can come here and do that without holding that knee. Otherwise, come right back in. Try to extend as far as you can while moving safely. It's also about comfort. Sometimes on top of that plate, some people find it uncomfortable to put the spine down on the plate. So if that's not for you, stay seated or you can even try this move on the floor. Three seconds. Two and one. Okay, back down into that glute bridge. We're gonna walk those feet forward and back, forward and back. Cool. Five seconds, get on down there. Think about squeezing that butt. The butt is part of our core too. Let's go. Walking those feet forward and back. Still pressing that heel down into the plate as hard as you can. Keeping those hips nice and level. We are halfway, halfway. Aim to keep that foot slightly turned up so your shoelaces are flipped up a little bit. Three seconds, two, and one. All right. One more round, one more round. Same exercises, let's come back down into that plank. See you guys, see you guys waving. Thank you for joining me. Three seconds, two, and plank. Knee to opposite elbow. So imagine you've got a balloon right there between your arms and your legs, and you've got to pop it. You've got to squeeze your abs so tight that you actually pop that balloon this round. It's our last round doing this particular exercise, 10 seconds. So let's get rid of that balloon. Pop it, pop it. 
Your spine. 
exercise is that glute bridge where we go one glute bridge, one crunch, try to touch the plate, cool? Five seconds, let's get on down and get ready. And go. Think about bringing your bottom rib in and touching your hip bone. As you do that crunch, try to touch your hip bone and your rib together. Cool, so one glute bridge, one crunch. Really working that core, optimizing, maximizing the work. You have five seconds. All right, come on, come on, come on. Three, two, and one. All right, one more round. One more round of each of these exercises. So we're going back to that press up. Last time through, you guys. Let's push, let's rock this. You've got this. Three, two, and one. Press with the heel of your hand. Maybe you have to make Mr. Ugly face at this point. <laughs> Remember, you're your own home. You make all the faces you want. You can grunt, you can breathe. To get you through this, we have 10 seconds. Woo! Three, two, and one. Okay, V ups. V ups and then that glute bridge to crunch. That's all we have left. Take a couple of deep breaths. Let's get that belly button slide. Race back in here. Three, two, and let's go. Remember your breathing. Exhale. Each time you come up, big exhale. Shh. That's going to help you maximize that core work. If you can exhale, it's going to help you to brace abdominally into your deep abdominals. The ones that kind of work like nature's girdle. So big exhale, you have five seconds left. Push yourselves, three, two, one. Okay, last exercise. Glute bridge, reach and touch the power plate. We've got this. Get on down, get ready. We have 30 seconds of work. And go. It's not about speed. It's about great execution. So don't worry how many reps you do. Really think about pushing your heels into the floor and then bringing your ribs to your hips. We're halfway. Ten seconds left. Two and one. Awesome. Let's take a couple of minutes and stretch out together. So coming into that nice long plunge position. Hip flexors work really hard and our hips, glutes, all work really hard when we're working core. Remember, it's that entire hip complex all the way up through the shoulder complex that actually is working when we talk about our core, our powerhouse. So we want to make sure that we get some blood flow, get some circulation back to those areas, so those connective tissues, so that we can ease any kind of muscle soreness we might have the next couple of days, start repairing those muscle tissues. Great job today, midsection mania. Legs. So if you guys have any questions about any of the exercises, about the power plate, about any of the programming as to why we do something or don't do something else, please make sure you type those in. Anytime you guys type those in, I always go back and check out those comments later and make sure that I get back to you and get you hopefully some answers to questions that you might have. Also, Remember to look at the schedule. We've got loads of classes all week long. I mentioned yesterday evening when I was teaching that we're already starting to plan classes for next week. So that's another thing you can do is drop us a comment. Let us know the types of classes that you'd like to see. Let's go ahead and go into that figure four glute stretch. So ankle to the knee. And then let's sit down into that stretch. Movement. We're actually taking these classes here from Instagram and we're putting them on our IGTV 
TV channel. She can come back and do these later. So you can look at the Power Play USA IGTV channel to find these, or find other workouts that maybe you missed when they were live, or maybe you just want to repeat them. Switch legs. You can also download the Power Play app. Another great place to find loads of workouts with myself, Caroline, and Sylvie. Just added a bunch of workouts to that section. So you download the app and then just go to the I'm a Home User section. All of them are categorized with a strength, cardio. You have a good idea of what you're in for before you choose a workout. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me for Midsection Mania. Hopefully you're feeling that work in your core. Awesome job, high fives. Woo, 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 woo. I'll see you guys later.